During the early morning hours of Wednesday, December the 14th, an area between the geysers, Napa Valley, and Clear Lake was jolted by a magnitude 5.0 earthquake. Dishes rattled and diners looked around nervously but there was no damage when the quake shook the Kaupo Cafe in Middletown just after 8.40 a.m. Reports stated that the earthquake had a rippled effect as it shifted across the land and through buildings. Throughout the affected areas though, no damage or injuries were reported. This earthquake has sparked fears that a larger, more devastating quake, could occur along the west coast within the foreseeable future. This is definitely possible, however, if we review earthquake data from this area, we'll find that last week's events were in line, for the most part, with normal activities. Let's talk about the geysers, its earthquake past, and what the future could hold, shall we? A million years ago, a plume of molten magma intruded close to the Earth's surface. The heat from this 1,400 degree intrusion recrystallized the overlying rocks, making them hard and brittle, then caused fracturing to create permeability. Subsequent magmatic activity over the next half million years maintained high temperatures as water seeped down through fractures to form a hot water geothermal reservoir. At about a quarter million years ago, the caprock overlying the ancestral geysers reservoir fractured, allowing steam eruptions as the high temperature water boiled down to form the current steam reservoir. Native Americans, the first inhabitants of this region, visited the thermal areas for their healing powers and ceremonial importance. When rediscovered in the 1840s, the geysers soon became a world-famous tourist destination. Although there are no actual geysers at this wonder-inspiring region, the inaccurate name stuck. In the past 50 years, the geysers has emerged as the world leader in generating sustainable geothermal power using steam from deep beneath the Earth's surface. Upon review of Wednesday's quake, it appeared to be associated with the geothermal field based on its location and shallowness. So, is this normal? Actually, yes, it is. The area has averaged about a magnitude 4.5 quake annually for roughly 15 years, so Wednesday's tremor was a bit bigger, but otherwise not particularly anomalous. Interestingly enough though, the earthquake was the largest in the geysers area in the past 30 years. The historical record of earthquakes in this area suggests that earthquakes as large as the 5.0 are likely to be near the upper magnitude limit. Unlike the San Andreas and the Rogers Creek Maacama Fault to the southwest of the geysers, there are no mapped faults in the steam field that are likely to sustain an earthquake larger than a magnitude 6.0. Like hydraulic fracturing, activities associated with the withdrawal of steam for producing electric power cause or induce small quakes to occur in the field. Seismicity at the geysers was poorly documented when power generation commenced in the 1960s. But since 1975 high-quality seismic monitoring data has been available, and it has been demonstrated that increased steam production and fluid injection correlates positively with changes in earthquake activity. The level of seismicity has been fairly stable since the mid-1980s, even though power production has declined in the field with the depletion of the steam reservoirs. At this time, there is no evidence that magmatic pressures are involved in generating earthquakes. The geysers field is densely monitored by seismic instrumentation operated by both Calpine Corporation and the United States Geological Survey, and both data streams are integrated to produce near real-time information. The seismic instrumentation utilized would record signs of volcanic unrest such as harmonic tremor or long-period quakes, and scientists would quickly recognize any deepening of quakes. So. For those wondering if a major earthquake or even a volcanic eruption from the geysers is possible, the answer is, yes, it is. Is it likely to occur though? No, it isn't likely at all. If concerned about the next major earthquake, we need to turn our attention to the great seismic faults like the San Andreas. That will be an interesting topic of conversation, but we'll save that for another day. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you agree or disagree with the information provided in this video, I would love to talk about it. Please post below. Make certain to like and subscribe. Share this video while you are at it. If you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. Have a great night guys.